So good morning to, to what is actually not a bad February morning here at Bank Key Station. And we're here this morning because we're going to catch Peter Pan. Up to Neverland! Yeah, very likely. But no, we're not seeing that Peter Pan, we're seeing this Peter Pan. Last time I saw that locomotive, as you just saw, it was on the East Lancashire Railway many moons ago before it was even named Peter Pan. And it's returning to its old stopping grounds today on the West Coast Main Line. It's heading up uh, part of a rail tour, which is heading up to Carlisle, which will then be taken over by a steam locomotive, which I've completely forgot what it is. <laughs> Good day, isn't it? Uh, I'll, I'll put it here somewhere, maybe down there. Mm. Anyway, uh, I just checked up on real time trains originally. Last night when I checked, there were no freight trains coming through, but in fact there are today. There is a biomass train which is heading south. I'll put the numbers up when the, when the train goes by. That's going through in about 5-10 minutes. And then we've got a northbound uh, intermodal, which will be cool. That's coming through a few minutes before uh, Peter Pan comes through with his uh, train. So we are getting a couple of things uh, this morning, so that's good. Um, so let's get on with it then, shall we? So while we're waiting for these trains to come through, where, where, where exactly are we? Where is Warrington Bank Key? Well, Warrington Bank Key sits on the West Coast Main Line, which is a main line which runs up from London all the way up to Scotland on the west side of the UK. Depending on who you ask in the town, we're either in Cheshire, Lancashire, or the Warrington Borough Council area. <laughs> Some people hate the fact if you say you're in Cheshire, they would rather you say you're in Lancashire. So if you say Warrington's in Lancashire, you'll find people who say you're in Cheshire. Yeah, it's one of those things. It's, it's, the boundaries up here have moved so many times. Um, it used to be Lancashire, it used to be it, it's there in Cheshire, then it was in Cheshire, then it's in its own unitary area. It's very complicated. But anyway, that's where we are. In the, in the corner, uh, right on top of the River Mersey, so we're sandwiched between Liverpool and Manchester, east west. Um, so, that's basically where we are. Arpley Yard is behind me. Uh, big, uh, a big, it's still in use. Um, not as much as it used to be in the speed link days, but um, it's still used um, for uh, crew changes and all sorts of things. So you can't see it very well from here. And also, Warrington used to have a low level station um, uh, in front of the Unilever building. And if you saw the intro, you'll see a big blue grey building, which is the Unilever building, uh, factory rather, sorry. Uh, closed recently unfortunately so I don't know what they're going to do with it it's a massive structure um, yeah no idea what they'll do with that um, but the low level station closed many years ago I'll put the date on it on the screen um, and that line uh, more recently uh, was used to ferry coal over to Fiddler's Ferry power station which has also just closed and it had some of its um, uh, cooling towers demolished fairly recently um, but the line's still there, and there are some plans to actually put it back into use uh, to feed back into Manchester. The line actually, and a lot of the railbed, still exists. So there you go. We'll watch this space on that one. That'd be quite cool. Um, anyway, I'm waffling while I'm waiting for these trains. Oh, the sun's come out. Woohoo! Right. Okay, well, let's see if this, these trains turn up. Oh, my hand right in the front of the screen there. Right, I've just checked um, right move. And it looks like the London that the uh, that biomass train actually hasn't left Liverpool yet. So uh, yeah, so that's not we're not going to see that one. But the intermodal train has left uh, London on its way north. So that one we're definitely going to be seeing. It's the train that is going to come in. So I'm just checking. Uh, that's the train that's definitely going to be coming in um, just before uh, Peter Pan comes up through. So uh, yeah, so we're going to miss that one after all. I've uh, got a couple of Pendolinos, a couple of passenger trains running through, but. Uh, Unfortunately, no biomass train at the moment. I'll show you this over here while we're waiting for all these trains to come up. What we see here is actually the entrance to uh, the north entrance to Arpley Yard. See if I can see it. There we go. Look. So there's the north entrance to Arpley Yard uh, down there. And what goes runs off over to the. Ooh, there's my finger. There's my finger. Um, off, goes off to the right is the West Coast Main Line. What runs off to the left, that line uh, actually then goes off to. North Wales to the far left 
it dips down into our plea yard. So our plea yard is actually sitting down there to the left on the camera there. Let's give you a bit more information about Warrington Bank Key while we're waiting. So as you can probably just tell, we've got four platforms on Warrington Bank Key. I think left the two outer platforms are for more local services, so services running between to and from North Wales, Manchester, Liverpool. The one far left is a you call it northbound, so let's go with northbound. And the one on the right here is southbound. There is actually another line that you can just see there. And that's normally a stabling line for freight trains going down to Arbley Yard. The two outer lines are also used as quick change points for northbound and southbound freight trains as well. Now behind me is actually a stabling line and that is used still, uh, it's not, as you can see it's not used today but it is used still uh, from time to time. Um, the inner two lines are north and southbound main, main line trains, so the west coast main line trains, so from London up to Scotland. Uh, also over to Blackpool and, and so on. That's what the two inner lines are usually used for and also fast through freight go through those two lines. So we're expecting the Peter Pan train and the freight train that I'm expecting the intermodal will come through on these lines. So the companies that use this station are Transport for Wales, obviously going backwards and forwards to Wales, Northern which run trains all the way through to uh, Leeds from here from uh, Chester and Avanti they're the current uh, company running the West Coast mainline trains. Don't think I've missed anybody. Right so a little bit about <coughs> colour aspect signals then. So this green signal is actually on the main line behind uh, to my right here. So I mean there is a train actually coming um, so you know that if you're doing any spotting in, in the UK can't speak for the US, I'm, I'm not sure if it's the same, but it means that the, the line's been cleared for a train to come through. So you know that probably in the next five, 10 minutes, there's a train coming through. I believe it's probably an Avanti train down to Euston. Um, it won't be the biomass train. I don't know where that's gone. Uh, given we've got Peter Pan today, it's probably gone to Neverland, but um, it hasn't left Liverpool. So why why is the biomass train so uh, great to see it is one of the longest freight trains in <laughs> around there's another one a car transporter train which i've not actually managed to catch yet uh, that runs through here from time to time and also the um log train from shirk uh, not shirk not from shirk to shirk I get it right that's pretty long as well but the biomass train is quite big um i've got that a couple of times uh, that's a sight to see actually it's a shame we're, not, we're not, probably not going to see it this morning um, but we'll run through the colour aspects on this. Um, when the train arrives and it goes through, uh, it'll go straight directly to red. Um, but the other aspect on here is a single yellow, which means the next signal in the line will be red. And there's a double amber aspect. That tells the driver that the next signal is going to be amber, and the next signal on from there will be red. That's a brief introduction to how these aspect right, the lights work. If you see a green one, you know there's almost certainly a train coming in the next four, five, ten minutes. <clears throat> and sure enough, here comes the Avanti. signal will now stay red until the next train is due through. If the train is due through fairly soon, it might actually go to amber and double amber. This is a train due behind it, but I don't think there is at the moment. Not directly anyway. So let's just hold it and let's just see if it does go. And 
and there's another Avanti coming up the line. There you go, so we'll keep that on. So the that intermodal will be behind this Avanti that's coming up on the other line. <coughs> There you go, there is a train behind it. So we've got an amber aspect. It may go to double amber. Let's see if it does. Call a feather signal as well. That, uh, there you go, double amber. So that uh, angle block of lines at the top. If the train is going off to the left, that will all light up with white lights. Not gonna, that doesn't happen very often unless we have a Chester bound train or a North Wales bound train coming in on the platform to my right. This intermodal train, this is going to be good because it is actually at Weaver Junction, which is not that far away, only about a mile down the line. And that Avanti West Coast has only just left, so it's going to have to come through fairly slowly. If not, if not actually, potentially stop because there's a red signal at the end of the platform. So this is quite cool. Normally they're a bit more spaced out than this. It also means that the following Peter Pan's going to be delayed, although it's in crew at the moment, because I've uh, just checked. But this is going to hold things up a bit. I don't know if that anti Avanti was late. Now this could be good. She blows and she's gonna she's got a green aspect, she's gonna rattle through here. See, we've got an abandoned train that's now pulled into the southbound platform and the Peter Pan train is due any minute. Typical. Come on, get this abandoned out of the way. It bloody this is the fun and games of doing train. Oh, it's gone. It's going. It's giving. It's giving. Go on. I've just checked and the uh, the Peter Pan. Peter Pan is just past Weaver Junction, so he's not that far away. This is going to be close. Oh, this is going to be so close. I've got a nasty feeling this is going to pass just as this train's leaving. I'm not going to see it. Got 11 coaches to go by. so close. Oh, we're lucky, we're lucky. New and the old. She blows. Oh, 47's on the front. Okay. I'm confused. <coughs> well, as you probably noticed, Peter Pan wasn't on that train. 
I'll see if, I'll go, see if there's a way of finding out what's actually happened to that. Um, for those that don't know, Peter Pan is actually a Class 86 electric and for those keen-eyed, that loco heading that train was a Class 47 <laughs> diesel. Uh, so that 47 is normally on the back end of a rail tour and the working locomotive is on the front normally when it goes northbound, if it's going southbound, it's the other way around. Like, do you, you get what I mean? So obviously something's gone wrong with that locomotive today. That's a real shame. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, I'm going to hang on for a minute because I've just realised that there is actually a southbound freight train due any minute. So I'm going to hang on for that and then I'm going to be on the head down. The sun's come out again. It's great. You might better hear me. Behind me, there's obviously some sort of switching or shunting going on behind me in Arpley Yard because I can hear a Class 66 whirring away in the background so I don't know whether that's going to emerge before I leave or whether it's just uh, fiddling about getting a, an outbound or an inbound train sorted out down there but anyway um, so I'll hang about for, for this southbound I think it's come from it's coming from Coatbridge going to Daventry so it might be uh, it might be an intermodal I'm not 100% sure uh, so we'll wait to see when it arrives but it's going south uh, got a red light behind me so it's not due just yet so when that goes green it'll be the next train through Well, that was a bit of a bonus. <laughs> anyway, right, I'm going to finish for the day and I will see you on the next one.